Men and women both have hearts, but surprising only to men, women's hearts work differently. A new study in Nature Cardiovascular Research found that when it comes to protecting your heart, women get more benefit from less exercise. Watch my long form video on my YouTube channel for more differences between men and women when it comes to exercise. In the study, researchers tracked over 85,000 adults wearing accelerometers and found that women who met the standard exercise goal, 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous exercise per week, had a 22% lower risk of developing coronary artery disease. Men who did the same amount of exercise had a 17% lower risk, a definite benefit but not as much as the women received. In other words, to cut cardiovascular risk by 30%, women needed about 35 minutes of exercise per day, while men needed nearly double that or about 75 minutes per day. And it didn't stop there. Among people who already had heart disease, being active slashed the risk of death by 70% in women compared to only about 20% in men. That's a huge difference. So what's going on here? Part of it may be estrogen, which helps blood vessels relax and promotes fat burning during exercise. Women also tend to have more type 1 muscle fibers, the endurance-oriented kind that relies on oxygen and aerobic metabolism. Men have more type 2 or fast switch fibers, which is great for sprints but not cardiovascular efficiency. Now, the women on the research team suggested that the data may have been skewed, possibly because some of the men in the study lacked hearts. A distinct possibility, if not made up by me. What's not made up is that men's hearts may need more exercise than women's, and one-size-fits-all exercise guidelines miss some important biological nuance. So while any exercise is good, aim for the recommended amounts. And if you're a man, maybe do a little bit more, you know, for your heart, not your ego. The one thing women say men already overtrain. Go to my YouTube channel for more evidence-based fitness facts. Thanks. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.